Hello and welcome to another ACY Securities tutorial video. My name is Alastair Schultz and I'm gonna be host through today's trading journey. Now in this video today, I am looking at Lithium, the third part of our three part series. So this is the final end. We're looking at the downstream side of Lithium production and the supply chain. Now in this video, I do intend to briefly cover what we think about when we think about consumer electronics and of course, the electric vehicle, but really I'm giving a bit of a summary on the five step process that goes from the mining all the way down to the electric vehicle. And of course, we'll have a little bit of a coverage on what producers might actually look like. Now, whilst we have looked at producers in previous videos, I do implore you to have a look back at some of those. They will be able to give you a little bit more in the way of exact names and wordings. Now, looking forward in the battery process, we are now at the downstream element, which is directly behind me here just now. And of course, in this phase of the market or in this phase of the supply chain, we're really looking at the final manufacturing for a battery to be made, a lithium battery to be exact. Now, whilst we've gone through the upstream side of things, looked at how we get from brine, sputamine and lepidite into their carbonates and the chemical mixtures that we need to make as a processed lithium component. And then we've gone into the midstream saga in our second part video, looking at the cathode, the electrode, the anode, the separator elements, and how we put a battery together. And of course, what the manufacturing process actually looks like. From now, we're looking at the downstream side of things. At this point in time in the downstream is when the battery gets packaged. It gets put together, it's turned into a battery pack, and then it is sent out to a consumer electronic, an electric vehicle, energy storage services, whatever it may be, the end user is the person that's actually getting the final delivery. Now, looking forward and doing a bit of a summary here, we've got to start off with, now just to recap, we started with the mining. Remember, we did with the, the brine, in this instance is the image that we're using behind us. We get it all from the water, we suck it all out of the bottom. We then extract it from that water and pump the rest of the residue back into the ground again. Now, this is one of the easier methods of mining these days. It is not cost intensive as what it is going for the rock vorm via lepidite or spodium. Now, moving forward from this mining phase, we then go into the chemical production side of things. And this is where we're actually processing the lithium, turning it into the final elements that we actually need, whether it be the chloride element or some other, so that we can put it then into a battery. Now then from there, we move into the cathode and anode. So at this point, that's where we're getting those chemicals. We're mixing them up. We're putting them with some other different variations of materials and resources that are required to create the cathode and the anode, the positive and the negative charge of the battery. Now from here, we also have separators that go in. Usually these days, they are made from a plastic, plastic style substance to help transfer the energy back and forth and keep those charges working at optimum levels all through the jelly-like substance in the middle. Now, then we go into the battery cell and manufacturing. And in this instance, we're looking at a car battery, but any battery that you're looking at, whether that be a Duracell or a Panasonic battery or anywhere in between, this is where we get the final wrapping happening. The battery has been made, it's then packaged into an item much like this or into something that you get at your local shopping center where you can get batteries to plug in to your remote just like so. Now, of course, these aren't the only places that batteries are actually used. We have to think about them as going into consumer goods. The consumer goods side of things means that we are actually getting them into electronics, phones, computers, remotes for presentations, and a variety of other goods, anything you can think of that is battery or electronically powered and doesn't have a power supply to be plugged into a wall, generally means it's gonna be battery operated. So we can think about those at a much greater detail and that really moves the idea of this video into a retail market segment, which is not where I wanna sort of go in today's video, but perhaps in the future we can look at the retail element of a battery. Now moving from here, the next phase is really that end use and that is our commercial goods. Now we've already seen in the last video about the rising demand that we've got for all of this type of goods, but it doesn't just limit it from batteries and computers and cars. It's also incorporated into how we're actually storing energy. Energy these days needs to be stored in greater amounts because we're able to produce a lot more of it and we want it to be there so that we can use it when we didn't think we did. Now, of course, things like the Tesla home battery are some of the items that I'm thinking of, but on a much grander scale, we're seeing energy companies or electricity companies needing to store more and more energy because of the growing population size that we're actually getting. So that they can actually do that, they need the technology coming from lithium and the battery. Now, of course, if there's anything from today's video, I do hope you have enjoyed 
this three-part lithium series. It's very simple, it's very easy, but it is something for you all to sort of wrap your head around as well and perhaps do a little bit of your own research. Now, if you would like to get in contact with me about today's video or any of my other videos, please feel free to shoot me a message at any of my social medias, which you can see at the top of the screen behind me. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so you can get more great part series just like this one from ACY Securities and myself. Have a great trading day ahead.